Welcome to the Core Modeling Basics tutorial video. This video is intended to teach game creators how to build your very first realistic 3D model using the Core Editor. So if you already know your way around the modeler, then this video probably isn't for you. But if this is your first introduction to modeling in Core, welcome. Let's begin. In this video, we'll be creating a delicious looking stack of 3D pancakes, complete with a pat of butter, maple syrup, and some fresh fruit for garnish. Warning, this tutorial video may leave you feeling extremely hungry after we're done. For a written version of this tutorial, head to docs.coregames.com and then look for Modeling Basics under the Tutorials section. When modeling realistic objects, it's always helpful to start with a reference image. So feel free to search for some pancakes using Google Image Search to refer to as you work, or hop in the kitchen and whip yourself up a short stack. We'll begin by creating a new project. Title it Modeling Basics and click Create. Before we move on, there are three incredibly useful keyboard shortcuts to remember for this tutorial. W, E, and R. W allows you to move objects around in X, Y, and Z space. E allows you to rotate objects in X, Y, and Z directions. While R allows you to scale objects to make them larger or smaller in X, Y, and Z space. These three shortcuts are critical for manipulating 3D objects quickly, so I'll be reminding you to use them from here on out. Since we don't want to make a big sticky mess, our stack of pancakes will need a place to sit. So let's start by making a plate for them to rest on. Go to the core editor window and in the search field, type the word cylinder, and then click and drag the object into the viewer. Now, using the R key, scale the default cylinder object down to the size of a plate by clicking the three axes and dragging them to manipulate the shape. Our plate also needs a lip to keep the syrup from falling onto the table, so do a search for ring beveled. Bring it into the editor window and scale it down again with the R key on top of the cylinder till it looks just about right. Hit the G key to turn on and off the snap to grid function. This can help you align objects quickly and help you fine tune your object placement. You can add texture to the plate and floor by searching in the core content window for wood. Click and drag any wood texture onto the default floor. Then, search for a texture called Clear Coat and drag it on to the plate and lip. In the Properties panel, change the color to white or whatever color you want the plate to be. Time to start cooking those pancakes. Search core content for the chamfered cylinder and scale it up to pancake size on your plate. Let's add some texture to the pancake by searching for stucco tintable in the core content window and dragging it onto the pancake. Now. Uncheck Use Smart Material in the Properties window and select a beige, pancakey kind of color. Turning off Smart Materials can help textures on smaller objects scale more appropriately, so we'll be doing that with every object we make for the rest of this tutorial. Our pancake's looking pretty good, but let's give it some crispier edges to make it look even more appetizing. Do a search for Ring Thin and scale it down using the R key and apply the stucco tintable texture again, unchecking Use Smart Materials, and selecting a darker brown color. Now, I don't know about you, but the one pancake isn't enough for me, so let's add a couple more. In the Hierarchy window, select the chamfered cylinder and ring thin objects by holding Shift to select multiple objects. And then hit Control and W to duplicate the objects. With the objects selected in the Hierarchy, hit W to move the second pancake above the first, and then rinse and repeat until you have three pancakes in your stack. Since perfectly stacked pancakes might look unnatural, move them slightly off center till you're happy with the way your breakfast looks. And remember, it's all about how you plate it, not how it tastes. Now we're going to add a little more texture to the top pancake. Do a search in core content for decal stains round 01. Drag it onto the top pancake and then hit R to scale it down until it looks like your top pancake is nice and extra crispy. I like butter on my pancakes, so search in core content for cube rounded, bring it into the scene, and again, scale it down by hitting R and shrink it to the size of a small pad of butter, resting it on top of the stack. Search for the plastic shiny texture, drag it onto the cube, and then change the color in the properties to a buttery off white. Now you got some butter. Mm. Damn, that's looking good. Time for the maple syrup. Search core content for liquid decal and put it onto the stack. Scale it down with the R key and in the properties menu, change the shape index setting to five and move it around with the W key until it looks good enough to eat, which is like right now. 
Yeah, those flapjacks look pretty good and ready, but I think we could use some fruit to garnish the plate. Using the skills you've learned up to this point, pull in a few cylinders and spheres and scale them down to banana, blueberry, and raspberry sizes, using the E key to rotate the banana slices into place. For textures, try using birch leaf 01 for the bananas, snow 01 for the blueberries, and clear coat reflector triangle 01 for the raspberries. And don't forget to uncheck Use Smart Materials on all of them to disable the use of smart materials and select the appropriate color to get them looking as fresh as you can. And voila, you've modeled a delicious looking stack of fluffy butter covered syrup dripping pancakes. Mm -mm. Through a combination of simple geometry, modified materials and decals, you can create limitless props of all shapes and sizes in core. Experiment with different settings, shapes, and make sure to check out other people's creations in the community content folder for inspiration. Feel free to share your creations with the Core Creator Discord server on the Showcase channel to show everyone your awesome work. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful video tutorials as well as trailers and other exciting announcements from Core. And hit that bell to be notified every time one of our videos goes live. Thanks for watching and creating in Core.